got it. <laughs> I'll put it right here. <laughs> son Daniel is here with me today and we're going to try this Alberta Premium Cast Strength Rye. It's a Canadian whiskey. So You just picked this up recently. Mm -hmm. Just uh, on a, they had, you picked up some other stuff with it I think. Yeah, I picked up the uh, Eagle, it was a, basically what it was was a drop. We get these emails in Virginia now saying they're going to release allocated uh, or limited edition uh, whiskey. So we, what we did was we just, uh, I got the email, got in the car, went down there, and on the first day I picked up Eagle Rare. Should I show them this bottle? No, yeah, might as well. This is a huge bottle of Eagle Rare. I may have shown it on the live stream. Look at this thing. That's a huge bottle That's of Eagle Rare. That's what you Rare. need. <laughs> That's about a good, <laughs> yeah. about a, the right amount. <laughs> the right amount of people right. <laughs> yeah. And so that, so on the way home, you could only get one on the way home. I was like, dang, I should have got that Canadian whiskey. Well, two days later, I'm driving by. I'm like, I'm going to go see if that's in there. They had one bottle left. And I got this for $75. And I'm anxious to try it. Yeah, me too. I'd never, I'd never heard of this before. Cast strength rye, um, cast strength being, you know, straight from the barrel to the bottle. Most of the whiskeys that we, you know, most all of these, unless they're telling you explicitly, um, they're cut with water. Um, so cast strength means it hasn't been. Um, and then it's a rye, which is, which is cool. I don't know mm -hmm. a lot of Canadian whiskeys that it. Uh, do the do the rye. I know there's yeah. typically be blended whiskeys. That's what I see most right. of the time if it's been if right. it's Canadian. I have a one bottle of Tingling. It's a Tingling rye. That's the only rye that I have. I haven't even tried that yet. Uh, but <clears throat> definitely the first rye so I've ever tried Canadian whiskey rye. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to give a. We already Me poured too. a couple. We just you know mm -hmm. coming at you quick. Let's sneakily video here and we already poured it and we're uh we're here oh wow i get the caramel right away mm -hmm. the light body still is something that i kind of expected from canadian mm -hmm. but i do get a little ether on the nose that's 63 percent is that what it is 63.7 percent alcohol so do the math double that that's how what the proof was man that whoa that just coated my entire mouth mm. i mean the difference between you know smell of whiskey and you know it can sometimes smell oaky or something this smelled really I thought kind of light maybe a little you were saying you mm -hmm. picked up on the alcohol um, Wow! but the way that it just um, kind of was thick over my mouth to me didn't connect with mm. how light it smelled oh yeah 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 it, it it's a little heavy very rich I mean you yeah. do get some sweetness but there's a lot of rye spice in there like first thing I got was the sweet and then 
then a lot of that rye spice. Obviously, you're going to get that because this is a hundred percent rye. We were up and that, yeah, and day after the Kentucky Derby, this tastes like a horse barn. <laughs> <laughs> In a, in a good way, like when, you walk in yeah. and you get, you know, the All smell, the, the grain, and the, and the horse, and, yeah. and you're out, and, um, mm -hmm. you know, that that's what I'm picking up from this thing. Oh, look at this. They said, uh, we use glacier-born water in our Alberto premium rye whiskey, so water from the glaciers. I couldn't cool. tell you if that did something, but here right now, yeah. and having this, and how... And maybe that has to do with that light body is how there's mm. nothing in that water, maybe. I don't know. Right. That, I mean, that is be nothing. really, really good. Full of minerals. Yeah. It's probably very healthy if we drink all Could be nothing, but could be everything. <laughs> <laughs> and also, what else does the boss say? Use only the finest locally grown rye grains from Canada's heartland. Alberta. Alberta. Where the big... You know big how local... Uh, Local those grains are. Where the Bigfoots are. And look at the streaks of the oiliness you get on that glass. That is, yeah, oiliness is, is, is a good one for, because that's how it does feel like, like when you've taken bread and dipped it in olive oil. Yeah. It did, it did in the same way, kind of, mm -hmm. kind of feel that way. Yeah. I really, I really like I this. I enjoy it. I, uh... I just did a uh, review of the 10 cup rye. And I gave that a score of a 78. But I'm gonna tell you right now. Tell I want to get to. I, I taste caramel. I taste brown sugar. Mm -hmm. I taste. Then I get that rye spice. And to be 63% alcohol, it's not that much ethanol. Mm -hmm. It is a little heat. You do get the heat, but you know what? I'm gonna give this a. Uh, an 86. 86, wow. I didn't know you were doing like a rating it. system. I hadn't heard of that yet. Yeah. Um, I guess so. I missed some videos, but. Um, <laughs> um, so the rating score is like, superb would be from 90, 97 to 100. And then we have, you know, excellent is from 90 to <laughs> 96. And then we have really good in the 80s, 80 to 89. And then then we'd have good, you know, something you'd crush. Yeah. And that's what I had that, the other rye, 10 cup is a 78. It's a very good yeah. know, whiskey. So. I have two things to say. All right. I took two sips uh, back to back, and uh, just my last two sips. And you know, as things open up and as you continue to drink, right, it starts to taste and get me flavors. Mm -hmm. And this last one, I, I swear, I sat here and I was like, I'm at the hibachi restaurant. Like for some reason, I just mm. I got the idea like fried rice. And then I just took a sip again. You know, mm -hmm. I'm obviously biased. I just thought that, but something about this like soy sauce rice mm. thing is what I felt. Mm -hmm in this taste just now. Huh. The soy sauce, the... Uh, kind of, you know, like meatiness. On, on right, this. right. It is thick like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That. And my second thought... Gosh, I, I'm just getting so much brown sugar. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm getting brown sugar. To me, it's like, you know, going back to the Asian thing, it's like those little biscuits that you got with all the sugar on it oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah that kind of dough it, that, yeah, yeah that's what that i'm kind pacing. of fry yeah. oil yeah but with a little bit more brown sugar it with that but. yeah i think there is something something to be said to because it does mm. remind me of japanese whiskey really and yeah. that may be what it's coming from is that yes uh yeah I, I, it's that kind of light bodied and mm -hmm. where scott and that's my other my second thought was how much more this was i would put this more you know if we're talking scotch versus bourbon mm -hmm. which is i don't know those are two large categories that mm -hmm. i feel like people kind of in the whiskey yeah you know yeah they, they might separate that i would put this closer to japanese whiskey scotch more than bourbon even though it has those those warm oh, flavors yeah, it still too. has the oakiness in there 
Which, and then with the rise is like the old frontier. That's what they used to drink was that rye whiskey, the old cowboys. Uh, but this is way too smooth. And, and to be 63% not have that bite that that rye usually has. Oh my God. It's, yeah. it's, it's amazing. In, incredibly kind of easy to drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, yeah. very, very yeah. good. I'm, it, I'm, I'm very impressed with this, uh, with this, with this uh, whiskey right now. So what do you? What's your score? I'm giving. Um, I'm sticking with my 86. With your 100, um, I'm I'm new to the the out of 100 thing, and I don't mm-hmm. have anywhere to base it on. You know, I've not rated mm-hmm. anything by 100. Um, so before this, so um, yeah. this will be kind of a new frontier. Um, you know, uh, it, it's also hard next to. You know, I'm not the mm-hmm. biggest Canadian whiskey connoisseur. Right, me either. Yeah, I'll yeah. never right. use the word connoisseur, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but um, yeah, definitely upper 80s, uh, I would say. I, I have to pinpoint a number, definitely above 85. Mm-hmm. You know, if I were to go out of, um, I'll say this, one out of five snifters, four and a half snifters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't seen that before, but, man, I, but what is good, though, a lot of times you'll smell the whiskey... It, is, it smells good on the nose, then you taste it, and it's not what you're thinking it's going to be. This time, it was what I thought it was going to be off the nose, and then a whole lot mm-hmm. more. So that's mm-hmm. why uh, I might be a little bit strict on it, but I'm sticking with my 86, because it's 86 is good. It's really good. That's a really good whiskey, and I am so glad I picked that up. So, Well, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching, guys. Like it's and subscribe. Good. Yeah, like. Thanks, Daniel. And we will. Uh, we gotta have Daniel back. If you want Daniel to come back and do some more, you need to say in the description, bring Daniel back. And he was he did a live a while back. We need to get him on a live too. So comment below. I like having Daniel here because he's good. He's good on the whiskey. <laughs> Is that a good or bad thing? That's a good thing. <laughs> <Cheers. Yeah. laughs> See y'all later.